Welcome to the Tech Mind Factory video blog. I'm super excited that you visited my channel. I hope you will find this video helpful and interesting. If so, please subscribe at the end because this will be the sign for me to produce more videos. And now, enjoy watching. In this video, we are going to talk about the call center tox analyzer built with the Azure Cloud. Before we jump in, please note that the source code of this solution is available on my GitHub in the Azure AI repository. Great, so let's start. Let me start from the business case. Try to imagine that we have a company and this company has a call center unit. And now we need a solution to get insights about the conversations with the customers. So, for instance, we would like to improve contact with our customers based on the analysis of recorded audio or video files or chat history. Maybe we would like to know what is the average time of the conversation with the customer in our call center. Or maybe we would like to count how many customers are satisfied with the help which is given during the conversation with the call center's assistant. Or maybe we would like to know what are the most popular topics of those conversations? So now we have two options. We can try to listen to those conversations and, and analyze them manually, or we can build a solution using Microsoft Azure services. And in this case, we will choose second option. So now let's discuss this solution architecture. As we can see on this slide, there are many different Azure services used. So let's discuss what's happening here. Let's start from the left side of the diagram. We can have different types of documents. So for instance, we can have a PDF file with the conversation history with the customer. Or we can have audio file or video file because for instance, we talk with the customer using Skype or Microsoft Teams. So once we have this conversation history as a PDF file, as an audio document or video, we can upload this file to the storage account. So Azure Storage Account is a service in the Microsoft Azure Cloud that enables us to upload files and store them in the cloud securely. Once the file is uploaded, Azure function is triggered. So there is a blob trigger use. And once this file is uploaded to Azure blob storage, this Azure function is triggered. And here I use Azure durable functions. So I encourage you to visit my GitHub repository and check implementation details. So once this function is triggered, we have to discover what type of this document is. So is it a PDF document or maybe this is audio or video file? So once the type of the document is discovered, we can call one of the next functions. So once we reach this central function with the block trigger, basing on the document type, we can call the next function. So in this case, if this is a PDF file, we will call the next Azure function. And this Azure function is responsible for calling Azure Cognitive Services and to be more precise, Azure Computer Vision API and Text Analytics API. So there are two steps. Once the PDF file is uploaded, we have to first scan it using OCR and Computer Vision API. And once we have the content of this PDF file, we can extract insights about this content using Text Analytics API. So that's for the PDF file. But if this is audio or video file, the another function is uh, triggered then. And this function calls Azure Video Indexer service. And Azure Video Indexer service is responsible for extracting insights about the audio or video file. So we can, for instance, get all the topics from the conversation in the audio or video file. 
or we can get tags or we can detect people in those videos. So many different insights or we can extract sentiment value. And in this case, in this solution, I extracted sentiment values from those different kind of files and conversations, of course. Once we have results from Azure Cognitive Services, if this is PDF file, or once we have those insights collected from the video indexer, we can call this third Azure function that is responsible for storing those insights in the Azure Cosmos DB. So once we collect the data, we can combine this data and we can store this data in the Azure Cosmos DB. And at the end, using Power BI tool, like Power BI Desktop in this case I used, we can connect to the Azure Cosmos DB, get this data and create beautiful charts to display insights about those different kind of conversations with our customers. Okay, perfect. So now let's see the components that were used exactly in this solution. So Azure Storage Account, Blob Storage in this case, was used to provide a way to upload files and store them securely in the Azure Cloud. Azure Durable Functions with Fan Out, Fan In pattern were used to orchestrate the process of extracting insights from the different kind of documents, in this case, PDF files, audio or video files. Azure Cognitive Services Text Analytics API was used to extract sentiment analysis and results from those different kind of PDF documents. Azure, Computer, Azure Com uh, Cognitive Services Computer Vision Service was used to apply OCR scanning on PDF files to extract the text and then pass this text to the uh, text analytics um, API. Azure Video Indexer was used to analyze audio and video content. Azure Cosmos DB were used to store analysis results as JSON documents. And then Power BI was used to visualize collected data in a form of report. And of course, I also applied Azure Application Insights to monitor solution and discover issues. Okay, perfect. So that was about the architecture and introduction. And now let's see the solution in action. Here it is Visual Studio 2019 and project I implemented. Let's briefly discuss implementation details. So in the function apps project, we can see that there is functions folder. And inside this folder, there are different kind of functions. Let's start with the me media file trigger function. So this function is triggered once there is a new file uploaded to the Azure Blob storage. Once the file is uploaded, we can get the URI of this file. And it's happening here. Once we have the URI of this file, we can pass this URI to Function File Analysis Orchestrator. As I mentioned, I used Azure Durable Functions in this project. So let's open File Analysis Orchestrator. And this orchestrator, what is happening, here is the method called Run Orchestrator. And inside this Run Orchestrator, what is happening, to make it simple, we getting the file location that was passed from the media file trigger function. And then we have to, of course, check whether this file location is not empty. And if it's not empty, we will use file format validation service to verify file content type. And of course, as I mentioned, I decided to include three types of the documents. So PDF files, audio files, so MP3 in this case, and video files, so MP4 in this case. So once we have this information about the file format, if this is PDF file, we will call uh, we will call another function. So let me show you this. So if this is PDF file, we will call text file analyzer function. And once we have the analysis result return, we can call this last function 
that is called analysis result aggregator function. And this function is responsible for storing the data in the Azure Cosmos DB. But if this is audio or video file, we will call this audio video file analyzer function in this case. And once we have the result, we will pass this result to analysis result aggregator function. And of course, if the file format is not supported by our solution, we would like to log this information in the Azure Application Insights. Okay, great. So now let's see what is happening in the text file analyzer function. So as we can see, there is iText file processing service. So this service is responsible for two things. First of all, we have to scan PDF file content with the OCR using computer vision API available in the Azure cloud. And once we have the content, we have to pass this content of the document to the uh, text analytics API of Azure, serv Azure Cognitive Services to get insights about the file content. So in this case, we would like to retrieve sentiment uh, analysis result. So in the analyze text file method, we are calling analyze file content method on text file processing service. And of course, if this is audio or video file, this another function will be called. And uh, in this case, this is audio video file analyzer. And inside the analyze audio video file method here, we are using implementation of the interface called iAudio video file processing service. And this service is responsible for calling Azure Video Indexer API to get insights about audio or video file. Once we have analysis result, we can call analysis result aggregator function. So here there is a method called aggregate analysis. And here in this case, if the analysis result is not empty, we will use implementation of data service to add this analysis result to the Azure Cosmos DB. Okay, great. So now Let's upload the file and see what's happening. I launched this function locally on my computer and in a background you can see Azure Storage Explorer tool we will use to upload files to the Azure Blob Storage. Okay, so let me click Upload, Upload Files and then I will have to select the file. Before I will do it, let's open it quickly and let's see what's uh, happening here in this uh, file. There is a conversation history. We can see that there is a conversation. Hi, hello, how can I help you? I have a problem with my car. A few days ago, it was repaired in your car service. I understand what exactly was repaired. Could you please provide registration number, some details, etc. So this is the conversation history. Let's close this PDF file and let's upload it to the Azure Blob Storage and let's see what's happening in the Azure Function code. I will click Upload. And we can see that the file is transferred to, uh, to the Azure Blob Storage. And after a few seconds, we can see on the console that function text file analyzer was triggered. And this is correct because this is a PDF document. So what is happening here right now, this uh, function file analysis orchestrator verified the file content, discovered that this is PDF file. And then this, uh, the URI to, for this PDF file was passed to the uh, text analysis uh, function. And this function called computer vision API to scan the document with the OCR. And then this content, this extracted content from the PDF document was passed to the text analytics API in the Azure cloud. And once we uh, have the result, we can see the information that function analysis result aggregator was called. So in this case, this analysis result was inserted in the Azure Cosmos DB. So let's open the um, data explorer in the Azure Cosmos DB and let's see what's happening there. Here is my Azure Cosmos DB account and inside the Cosmos DB Azure AI database, I have analysis result container. So let's see the items. 
what I can see here, we have different kind of items. And inside those items, we can see that there is um, an array called sentiment values. And for instance, for the, this kind of analysis, we can see that the sentiment values were neutral and positive. For another analysis, sentiment values, uh, th there is only one value, mixed. And for the first one, there is also mixed. Okay, great. So right now we can use Power BI Desktop to connect to this Azure Cosmos DB account and get the data and create charts. But before we jump into the um, Power BI Desktop, let me open Video Indexer website because here I would like to also briefly um, describe what's happening. If we decide to upload audio or video file, then this file is indexed in the Azure Video Indexer and then on the right side we can see different kind of insights about this audio or video file. In this case this is video file, so we can see that one person was detected. Of course this is unknown because I didn't uh, assign any first name last name to this kind of person. But we can also see that we have uh, topics extracted here. Uh, in this uh, fr from this video so uh, probably they are talking about movies tv entertainment etc and then we have also labels so we can uh, we can see different labels like person closing human face man tie so different kind of um, of of labels were detected and if we scroll down we can also see the uh, part that is called emotions and here we can see we can detect emotions from people's faces so in this case it's joy so so probably this conversation was quite good okay perfect so in this case if we use video indexer we can get many different kind of insights so in this case i use sentiment analysis and i get information about the sentiment so whether the customer was satisfied uh, with the conversation or not Okay, perfect. So right now let's open Power BI Desktop. This is a simple chart I created in the Power BI Desktop. And I know that it's not beautiful, but it's just to visualize the data and uh, to show this whole example, how to use different kind of Azure services for the um, analysis. So this chart is called Sentiment Values After Call Center Talks. And on the right side we have agenda and we can see that there are different kind of sentiment values. Mixed, neutral and positive. And on this chart we can see that there was one conversation where the sentiment is assigned to mix. There is one conversation with neutral sentiment and one conversation with positive sentiment value. And what is also important to mention is uh, the, the fact that we can easily connect this Power BI desktop tool to the Azure Cosmos DB. Here is the tab called Get Data. And if I click More, what I can do, I can select one of the data sources available here. There are many different kinds of data sources. If I scroll down here, we can see that there is Azure Cosmos DB. And once we connect to this Azure Cosmos DB account, we will be able to retrieve the data and then visualize, visualize this data with the charts in the Power BI desktop. Great. So that's it from my side. I encourage you to visit my GitHub repository to, uh, to, to discover implementation details. I also encourage you to check the links in the video description. And I hope you found this uh, solution uh, interesting. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and helpful. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to contact me either on Twitter or LinkedIn. And of course, I encourage you to visit my blog techmindfactory.com. See you in the next video.